welcome back to my kitchen welcome back to my channel so we have another meal prep video today and this one I'm really excited for mainly because it's been pretty requested here on my channel and that is to do some meal prepping that involves my pressure cooker or instapot and don't click out of this video yet if you don't have one because all three recipes that we're doing today I believe have options where you can do it in your slow cooker or your stove or your oven um, instead of doing it in the Instapot. But I've gotten a lot of requests to use my pressure cooker. Basically, Instapots are pressure cookers, but Instapot is just a brand of pressure cookers. So my pressure cooker is another brand. It's actually something that I found off Amazon, and I will have a link below for that. But needless to say, no matter what, no matter what you have in your kitchen, you should be able to make all three of these meals. Today is a gorgeous fall day here in North Carolina. We've been doing blanket forts this morning, and right now the girls are behind me in the dining room working on a little craft, doing some coloring and stuff like that. So they're kind of busy. I've got them content, and now I can get rolling. And most of the time, I try to do these three meals whenever I do a quick three meal prep. I try to do them in under an hour or around an hour so that you guys know too that meal prepping can be simple. I try to do these in about an hour so that you guys know that even if you work all day, you can still squeeze in meal prepping in the evening or while your kids are napping. No matter what, no matter how your life is set up, you can still do meal prepping. So anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's jump right in. I've got my coffee. You guys know that's essential. And <laughs> let's jump into cooking. All right. Our first recipe is going to be some pulled pork and this one before you freeze it you actually cook it in the pressure cooker or the um, Instapot same thing um, but I'm going to cut this in half and I actually think it's a little more than the recipe so I may actually cut it in thirds before I put it in there and then the sauce is made up of really simple things I swapped a few things out just because I didn't want to purchase them just specifically for this recipe so one of them was a uh, rice wine vinegar so I'm just gonna use some red wine vinegar and then they had honey in that I don't use honey a whole lot so I'm gonna go ahead and use my swerve sweetener um, and basically you make up the sauce with all of the ingredients and then put it on top of the pork shoulder in the pressure cooker and it looks like it cooks up pretty quickly I think in about an hour it'll be cooked up and then um, I'll shred it all up and then thicken the sauce in the bottom of the pressure cooker dump it across it and then put it in a ziploc and just throw it in the freezer and I think it's the recipe said that it can be in there for about three months which is pretty great and you just heat it up and you easily can make pulled pork sandwiches. Okay, while this one is cooking over here, I'm gonna show you one that you put into the freezer and then get out and then cook in the Instapot. So it is an orange chicken. I'm really excited about this one. I love any kind of like Asian inspired food. And this is relatively healthy. It looks really, really delicious. So I have about two pounds of chicken breast here that I'm gonna cut up pretty small bite sized. And then along with that, you make the sauce and the sauce has orange juice, soy sauce, sesame oil, some sweetener, and you could use regular sugar um, or brown sugar actually, and some ginger and some minced garlic. I'm gonna put the sauce in the smaller bag and the chicken in the bigger bag. 
And then I probably will write the instructions on these just because there is a little bit that you need to do to thicken the sauce. There's one more ingredient that doesn't go into the sauce before you cook it. So it's after you cook it, you thicken the sauce. So I'll probably put that on here or I may just remember because it's the only thing in my freezer that looks like this right now. Um, and I can just go back on the Pinterest recipe and look at the instructions of how to do it. Okay, so it is the next day and I was gonna finish filming everything yesterday, but we got a last minute invite to go and hang out with some friends. So I did not finish filming, which is fine. Life happens sometimes. And I also wanted to make a little note because a lot of times I do these videos where I do three freezer meals in less than an hour and I like actually do it in that time frame um, in an afternoon. But this one's a little bit different just because we are using the pressure cooker and it does take time to cook and I don't have like three pressure cookers. So what I wanted to say is all of the prep time of all three of these is definitely less than an hour. So if you want to plan a day where you're kind of like reloading the pressure cooker or you're kind of doing things in between, so cleaning your house and then putting this stuff in, you would definitely be able to do all three of these meals in under an hour. So I just wanted to clarify that a little bit just because I'm sure I will get comments like, this is obviously it's more than an hour. <laughs> and yes it is, but the prep time on this is definitely less than an hour. These are really, really simple. So the third one that we're gonna do is a meatloaf. I'm so excited to try this out. I've never made meatloaf in my pressure cooker before and I feel like it would be a game changer because I think sometimes when you make meatloaf it can end up kind of dry in the middle and pressure cooker always adds moisture and that's why it makes meat so tender. It's why it just makes everything good. But anyways, so I'm gonna show you the little tools that I'm kind of using along with it and the recipe I am following does have some tips and tricks on how to cook meatloaf in the pressure cooker. There's a couple ways of doing it. So definitely check that out below. And I believe there's also alternate um, instructions to where you can make this in your oven instead of your pressure cooker. Just like everything else, I always try to find things that doesn't you don't need to necessarily have a special tool for your kitchen to make the recipe. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I've got everything out. I just need to grab the meat out of the refrigerator because I had it thawed out um, to mix up. So what she suggests to do in the recipe, and I don't know if there's different ways of doing this. I don't know if you could literally do it in the bottom of your pressure cooker and it would be fine. I'm just gonna follow what her suggestions are. But she actually uses a small cheesecake pan, like a springform pan, to get the um, meat done in the bottom. I have this one, it's actually for my air 
air fryer, but it'll work out perfect. And then I'm gonna set it on top of this little rack in the bottom of the pressure cooker. Um, and I'm going to just do it that way. And then whenever it's done, I'll pull it out and I'll probably flip it over and empty it out of this and then put the uh, tomato sauce topping on it. Okay, so here is what it looked like coming out and it held together really well. It smells amazing. I know it doesn't look so great right now, but we're gonna make it look a little prettier. <laughs> so the recipe calls to basically just dump some tomato sauce across the top of it and add some fresh parsley. And I personally like the top of my meatloaf to kind of have more of a sweeter uh, flavor to it. So I'm going to dump this in here add a little bit of mustard and then add some stevia to it as well and mix it up before I dump it across and then I'm gonna chop up some parsley and put that across it and then I'm just going to put the lid on it and put it in the freezer and then I can get it out let it thaw out a little bit warm it up and then I'll serve it with like you know some veggies and maybe some mashed cauliflower some sweet potato um, some uh, side salad something like that but at least this part is done for my meal and I don't have to worry about cooking up um, any kind of protein Okay, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope this gave you some meal inspiration or some freezer prep inspiration. And I will leave all of the recipes linked below, as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. I'd love it if you joined my kitchen and my cooking crew. And give this video a like, leave a comment below, let me know which of these recipes sounds the best to you. And I'll see you guys in my next video.